Hi Libra, I'm Susie from The Gift to a Two and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 16th of May. I'm a bit late, sorry, but it's a full moon eclipse and let's see what the angels and spirit guides have got in store for Libra. Libra, Libra, what would you like Libra to know about the week of the 16th of May, please? The week of the 16th of May for Libra. Angels, spirit guides for Libra, queens. Libra, angels, spirit guides, what's for Libra, energies for Libra for the week of the 16th of May. Week of the 16th of May for Libra, please. What's the collective Libra energies? Too many cards. Collective Libra energies fill out for the 16th of May, please. Angels, spirit guides for the 16th. Week of the 16th of May for Libra. Week of the 16th of May for Libra, please. Week of the 16th of May for Libra. Angel, Spirit, God, Universe. What would you like Libra to know? Please turn off the because I'm next to you. Okay, Libra. So, bottom of the deck, we have the world. This is a, a graduation. Okay, this is um, feeling like a whole person you're a stopgap, you could be taking a year out, um, but you know that you're going to be a doctor, do you know what I mean? So you're having a little dance, a little rest, it's at the completion of a cycle and it's a lot of knowledge. Um, you have the Ace of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. There's some new beginning here at the start of the week, a creative uprush, a spark, a passion for some kind of self-employment or work, um, but you're not sure... what to choose there could be a lot of options and lots of doors open to you but you're not sure what to do someone could be lying to you or offering you things that are just like you can't grab hold of um it's pie in the sky the nine of swords is here with the sort of termination of something it could be like you're just too worried of making a decision or you're you can't grab hold of anything nothing's coming to fruition so it's kind of mentally overwhelming you and you're getting depressed or you can't sleep. Um, this is self-sabotage. Try not to uh, make things up in your mind to make it worse, like an escalation of a worry. There is someone coming in very slow, offering some kind of stable future with money. Um, this person could be an earth sign. They look after sick bees. This is a, a catalyst for you to plan and go slow. Uh, you've got the King of Cups here, which is the outcome of this situation right now, is that you're expressing your mood, you're loving, someone could be coming towards you to play you music, they could play an instrument, they could be a counsellor, but it's an expression of love, it's very caring and it's very kind, this energy, uh, whether that's you to other people or someone towards you, they want to love. OK, the high the high priestess tells me that you, your instincts are on point. There's no longer any juggling. This person could come and express their love to you. Maybe someone else was too slow and this was worrying you or this is the same person that was too slow. So now you've got and that, that's a knight. This is a king. This is an older energy. You're you could go and see a psychic and you could be having dreams about this person and your instincts and your gut are telling you that this person is no longer or you're no longer keeping all the balls in the air okay you're no longer juggling they're no longer juggling an actual wish is coming true a divine union and it's going to offer a stability there's a brand new gift coming for the future you're going to, it's someone from the past coming back in and they want to be charitable towards you, right? Whether you take this person from the past or you go with this divine union or it's the same thing, I don't know. But it seems that someone who maybe was juggling before is not now. They want to offer you this stable, so look, two of pentacles upside down. That up, upright, that's kind of a wobbly table. Maybe a business goes awry and you don't get this particular work that you are thinking of. You don't want to do it. 
this new beginning, this uprush, you've saved this money, but you're not sure whether to carry it on. Maybe you want to do something else. The King of Cups here is, is helping your heart. They're being very kind. They're, someone might come in and tell you something in a dream. This could be a water sign, but they're like a guardian angel. And they're saying, don't worry, you don't have to do that job. There's a wish coming true. Here's a new stable beginning, a new job or a new love or someone new. Um, it could involve something from the past, but this time someone wants to be equal giving, okay, with this charitable giving. So you might start off doing one thing and end the week doing another thing which involves sharing okay you might it might not be as much money but it seems to be six of pentacles is kind of it's nice this this is a wish coming true so let's ask the angels what is like libra to know so don't when you get here because you're not sure there's too many options or someone's blind to you or you know it might cause you to terminate something or end something because someone's too slow Kia Cups comes in, say, go with your instincts, go with your gut, what do you want to do? Um, maybe you don't want to juggle, maybe you don't want to do this job anymore, or this relationship anymore. And then all of a sudden, you get the opposite to the nine, is the yes card. The nine of swords is the no card, the nine of cups, the yes card, and then you're offered this brand new beginning. But it's, it's it has things from the past in it, and it's nostalgic, it's got memories, it could be to do with children, um... And someone wants to give you something. Oh no, that's not really on the floor. Um, let me just grab these off the floor. So, Libra, this looks like I'm here in a game of two halves. If you're a footballer, <laughs> it's a game of two halves. It is a no and then there's a yes. So angel, spirit guide, universe. So this is this this self-sabotage. These witches are poking his brain, making him crazy. He's getting no sleep, and you know, it's like there's too much. They don't know what to do. I don't know what to choose. What do I choose? One, two, three. Do I want them to live with me? Do I want a house on the hill? Do I want to get married? Do I want kids? You know, there's too many up in the air things that aren't coming down. So it's like you're just working on yourself and your business. And, and then you've got these offers. Could be one from a, a Knight of Pentacles. One is from a King of Cups. You'll instinctively know what to do. Um, and because uh, someone's coming towards you to tell you, that I want a new beginning, I'm not juggling anymore, and that's up to you, they're falling on the floor. I want to take the ones on the floor. There's three on the floor. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So maybe someone is so slow in coming forward because they don't have enough money um, or they're making a plan. They're making a plan. You're just having this new uprush of passion and you're working on yourself and now you've got all these things to, to, are being offered and it's like, no, 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 no. I had a plan, I'm walking towards something. But then this King of Cups comes in and maybe... It's like you lose, it's like you're, it's like eight, when I see diamonds, coins, eight to the two upside down, which is really the one, right? With what Ace of Pentacles, which you've got here. And there's a wish around this new beginning. This, there's a hopeful wish, there's a, there's a yes around it. about this stable new beginning you've got two aces there's a stable new beginning i don't think you're going to be on your own at the end of this week the other cards that fell onto the table are wedding the situation involves marriage children which i said your love life is being affected by children and pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so hello it's a game of two halves 
it could be two different people, but it could be someone that's having to sort out something before they offer this new beginning, this ring or this gift. Or the, but it's something that does have ties with the past, two sixes. And sixes are about um, devotion. It's the six card is, is the lovers, isn't it? So someone could be very devoted to. Let's ask... The, I do have these two as well. Release your ex and worth waiting for. So, <sighs> angels, spirit guides, universe. Libra, 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 Libra. Release your ex, it says. The time has come to clear your energy. But that just could be, look, when I see this card, look at that picture there, I see the nine of swords. If someone is making you feel like you don't know your own mind, Libra, you need to start making a plan start stand still look at how much money you've got go outside start taking steps out of that feeling release the energy of it listen to people that love you listen to your gut instincts And if they're not doing that and you're overwhelming yourself and you, you still need to step out so you can see it from a, another perspective. It says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Let's ask the angels. Angels, spirit guides, universe. Libra. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Libra to know? Out, outdoors look go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas so get go outdoors and see it from another perspective angels spirit guides because it's you, your mind is overwhelming you because you don't know what to do or what to choose or focus on one thing angels spirit guides one more for libra please for the week of the 16th after i see i feel like i'm telling you off libra angels spirit guides universe 16th of May, week of the 16th of May, week of the 16th of May, because I can see such a nice thing happening here, angels, and there's new beginnings, and and memories, and, and, and reciprocation, I've got two, okay, we've got overcoming difficulties, the worst is now, again, the worst is now behind you, you are surmounting any previous challenges, same card, counsellor, which is the king of cups, you are a natural counsellor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance, and joy. Joy is the highest energy of all, is the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present future moments at their highest possible levels. You've got backup, you've got spiritual backup. You're gonna to have to see the love, the divine love and begin again. From a very stable platform where people share okay take care libra please like share and subscribe and i will speak to you soon bye, -bye.